More than 8,000 people turning out for Christchurch's Air Day. A chance to see the mighty aircrafts that travel to the icy continent of Antarctica. For the Kiwi side, they fly the C-130 Hercules. It was great. We, we always enjoy coming down and uh, you know, really enthusiastic big crowd that uh, turned up. You know, yeah, it was great to see a lot of kids, families, so yeah, we, we re really enjoyed it. Christchurch, the international gateway for Antarctica. It's critical for us here. It's a, it's a, it's a really key relationship. Um, excellent facilities here, nice um, long runway, uh, yeah, good facilities for us to operate closer to Antarctica. So yeah, it's uh, ideal for us to base out of here. Typically there is a crew of six aboard the plane. They travel to the Antarctic more than eight times a year. Captain Aaron Lloyd says flying to Antarctica is a privilege. We really enjoy flying there. It's, um, uh, I think a lot of people are quite, quite surprised when we, uh, when we go there hearing about it all. Inside the flight deck of the C-130 Hercules. A pilot on the left, co-pilot on the right, a flying engineer in the uh, centre position here. Navigator station behind us. Uh, the displays up the front, uh, flight, disp flight displays for the pilot. Um, the pilot's engine instrumentation in the centre. Uh, fuel, pressurisation, electrics panels up top. And uh, the circuit breakers for all of the systems on either side. Over the summer months, the flying conditions in the icy continent aren't too different to flying through New Zealand. But this captain says getting the privilege to travel through the Antarctic is surreal. Yeah, completely different environment to, to what we have here on a, on a great day. You can see, see for miles, typical, um, yeah, brilliant, uh, brilliant views down there. What separates the Hercules from the average national plane? I'd probably say the, the versatility of the, of the C-130. It can be re-rigged for a combination of cargo or passenger uh, configuration pretty quickly um, as opposed to other aircraft. That's what sort of gives the, the C-130 its advantage. Inside the aircraft, if fitted for seating passengers, the Hercules can carry more than 90 people. From food, basic supplies to machinery, this plane is mainly used for carrying and delivering cargo to those in the Antarctic science programs. Generally it's uh, a cargo configuration, uh, seven, seven and a half hours to the ice, typically we overnight uh, down at McMurdo and uh, return the next day. There are many features on board with several uses. The paratroop doors on either side, they are an emergency exit and uh, can also be used for uh, personnel uh, jumping out of the aircraft. For this Air Force captain, not every day flying is the same and his team enjoy being able to contribute to several other Antarctic operations. What he loves about being an Antarctica pilot. The challenges and the, and the differences of it that we always have, it's uh, never never a standard day, I guess. There's always something new. Um, it always you know, keeps all of us uh, busy on our toes, which is good. Joel Batista, CTV News.